This is one of the best chicken meatloaf recipes I have tasted. I'm Tess, and tonight I'm making a copycat Cracker Barrel meatloaf using ground chicken. It's better than you think. Stay tuned. On my channel, you will find a copycat recipe for Cracker Barrel meatloaf and their hash brown casserole. They are both amazingly delicious. Tonight I'm making a Cracker Barrel meatloaf using ground chicken. You can use chicken breasts or thighs or a combo. I got a great deal on boneless chicken thighs, so I ground two pounds in my food processor and I included a little bit of the fat. This will help keep the meatloaf nice and juicy and add a little more flavor. In my large bowl I have three eggs and I'm giving them a good whisk. I'm adding in one teaspoon of salt a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, half a cup of milk, one small finely diced onion, half a cup of finely diced bell pepper, and four ounces of shredded Colby cheese, giving that a good whisk to incorporate. And this is one and a half sleeves of crushed Ritz crackers. That is the long sleeves, or you can use three small sleeves. It equals about one and a half to two cups of crushed Ritz crackers. Giving that another good stir. Adding in my two pounds of ground chicken and mixing until just incorporated. Remember not to over mix. You will also notice that this is a loose mixture and probably will not hold its form like ground beef, so I'm using an oiled loaf pan for baking. The meatloaf is going into a preheated 375 degree Fahrenheit oven for 30 minutes. In the meantime, I'm making the ketchup topping. I have three quarters of a cup of ketchup and I'm adding in one teaspoon of mustard and two tablespoons of brown sugar, giving that a good stir. It's been 30 minutes and I'm spooning on the ketchup mixture. The chicken meatloaf is going back into the oven and cooking for another 30 to 40 minutes or when the internal temp is 165 degrees. When the meatloaf is done, remove from the oven and let the meatloaf rest for 15 minutes before cutting. This copycat Cracker Barrel meatloaf using the ground chicken turned out way better than expected. The meatloaf is tender and juicy and very flavorful. I'm already excited about the leftovers. I also made my copycat Cracker Barrel hash brown casserole and serving with sweet kale salad. And that's dinner. If you don't like the idea of the sweet ketchup top, you can leave it off and serve as is or serve with a little chicken gravy on top. I hope you give my copycat Cracker Barrel chicken meatloaf recipe a try and enjoy. If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!